Is the pressure getting to you already, Donald? I mean, how thin-skinned can you be? You see what he posted over the weekend? He into Ann Selzer. You may say that name sounds familiar. Remember the Selzer poll out of Iowa? She said that Vice President Kamala Harris was uh, going to uh, lead in Iowa by a few points, which was correct. Uh, but now Donald Trump is spending the weekend attacking Ann Selzer, saying she was involved in election interference. He did right away. It's like what he posted. He goes, a totally fake poll that caused great distrust and uncertainty at a very critical what she was doing. Thank you to the great people of Iowa for giving me such a record-breaking vote despite election fraud and the now discredited newspaper for which she works. An investigation is fully called for. And it's her saying that uh, she's moving on to other ventures uh, and she's stepping away from working at the Des Moines Register. Get this straight, even where he wins the election and even where overall Republicans had a pretty uh, decent, as where Democrats did uh, okay, um, the Republicans are still saying fraud, 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 election fraud. They're the ones who are still wanting to win. They just don't know how to govern. They don't know how to lead. I mean, by the way, there's this congressional race as well, um, where the Democrat pulled ahead and the Republicans like, there's cheating taking place. You see right there, even when they're winning, they are again. And so just to show you, this is how MAGA views government as just endless grievance and endless the whole thing is just a complete and utter mess right now, right? Like now we're learning that Donald Trump's pick for Secretary of Defense, Peter Hegos, who cheated on wife one with wife two, who cheated on wife two with wife three, had a baby with wife three. We knew about the sexual assault allegation I had in 2017. We learned about those. We reported on that. But now we also learned that he engaged in hush money payments as well. Theme, hush money payments. Stormy Daniels uh, sound uh, familiar to everybody, but this is who MAGA is. I mean, by the way, about the Selzer poll and whining about the Selzer poll and talking about that, you have uh, Elon Musk posted, who's basically been acting as a co-president uh, at this uh, point to Donald Trump. And many people are saying just how uh, Elon Musk talking about an extinction level event within the administration and spending your federal government. And it's an extinction level event is what they are talking about that. So Elon Musk, a billion of people must now all suffer hardship, he says. He says he and Donald Trump are gonna make sure we face hardship, he says, because that's how he's talking about an ELE. Look at this, an extinction level event. So to recap, you have Donald Trump whining about a pollster, saying there's some random pollster in Iowa. His secretary of defense pick, Peter Hegseth, apparently made hush money payments the way Donald Trump. Elon Musk creating fake governmental agencies and he's talking about extinction level events uh, within the gun. Look right there. Just look at Trump's face in this photo as MAGA Mike Johnson and he walk out to uh, the UFC fight. So utterly bizarre. And talking about the utter abuse of government power and authority right here. The Trump transition team is now of current and former U.S. military officers for possible court martial regarding Afghanistan, the Afghanistan withdrawal that Donald Trump botched. You mean the deal that Donald Trump made with the Taliban to release five? Trump invited the leader of the Taliban to Camp David to commemorate September 11th on the anniversary of the leader of the Taliban. You mean Donald Trump who um, drew down our troops to a dangerous level, leaving them in not allowing a smooth transition or any transition at all to take place from his administration to the Biden administration, go after military generals who were involved in Afghanistan and try to court-martial them. I mean, the abuses of power roof. I think Americans are taking notice. We talked about how people are just getting utterly pissed that like Elon Musk and are talking about exposing us to severe and devastating hardship. We don't want to go through hardship. We the people just want to go about living our lives. Musk is, pub is uh, uh, publishing as well or posting on his social media platform. Well, first he posted an attack on what would be better, a magic eight ball 
or the Federal Reserve. And he did a Twitter poll on that because apparently that's not govern uh, via Twitter polls. And then you have Elon Musk commenting uh, with this after he spoke to Zelensky. Zelensky says, the U.S., referring to Trump, cannot force us to sit and listen at the negotiating table. We are an independent in a Ukrainian interview. We're not just going to listen if Trump tries to force our hands. We are going to defend our territory. We're not We're not doing that. We're going to win this war. Um, and then uh, Elon Musk goes, his sense of humor is amazing. Obviously threatening uh, President Zelensky right there. Oh, and then you just have the most uh, absurd propag Newsmax, Monica Crowley, one of Donald Trump's top propagandists, saying the following about Trump uh, cabinet positions. And L clip as Tennessee Holler says, play this clip. Making America great again. Every single cabinet pick that he has announced so far and strong yeah. on their own as a team, this really is a dream team. We have not seen this kind of talent pool since the founding fathers. <laughs> I'm old during cold and flu season, so I just discovered an incredible product, Armra Colostrum. Now my immune health has never began using Armra Colostrum because I need something to help strengthen my gut barrier, protecting against toxins, chemicals, and pollution. Colostrum is the first nutrition we receive in life and is an exclusive source of all the essential nutrients we need in order to is sustainably sourced and is a proprietary concentrate of bovine colostrum that harnesses over 400 functional nutrient barriers, your body's inside suit of armor, and the first line of defense against harmful particles from the environment. You sick. Armor colostrum strengthens immunity, ignites metabolism, fortifies gut health, promotes hair growth and fitness performance and recovery. Armor colostrum strengthens all four layers of your gut wall where 80% of your immune, the immune barriers of your gut are compromised, you are left vulnerable. The body's gut wall system is your criticals from the environment that can make you sick. Armor colostrum strengthens all four layers of gut wall system naturally. I'm fortifying your gut wall architecture and replenishing your army of immune cells, securing your highest immune system. It's a rich, exclusive source of immunoglobulins, antibodies that optimize your immune to flu season. So I take three to four scoops of Armra colostrum a day and increase, uh, increase it as desired for amp food. There's no such thing as too much. We've worked out a special offer for our audience here for this Armra colostrum. Receive first order. Go to tryarmra.com slash Midas or enter Midas to get 15%. That's tryarmra.com. You spell it T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A dot com slash Midas. And tryarmra.com slash Midas. And then you have Lauren Boebert saying that Dan Bongino, the right-wing host, the extremist right-wing podcast host, he should become secretary of the Secret Service, which is not... Even you saw MAGA Mike Johnson at the UFC fight because apparently America's just quite literally like everything is propaganda, a ridiculous stunt. Um, here he is talking about we may we may try to shut down Congress so Donald Trump can just wants who are completely unqualified so we could all inflict hardship on you, the oligarchy. The American billionaire, the billionaires, the Elon Musks and the Trumps, they can screw us. They can screw you. We screw all we, the people. We're on. Listen, I believe in the principle of a new president being able to choose his team. And that, that used to not be a controversial noted government and uh, a very partisan atmosphere in Washington. I wish it were not. I wish the Senate would simply do its job of advice and consent and a license in his cabinet uh, of his choosing. But um, if this thing bogs down, it would be a great detriment to the, uh, to the country, to the American people. President, an overwhelming popular vote victory and, and of course, electoral uh, college victory. And they have sent the message that America the rule of the day. So the persons that the president is choosing will help with that agenda. They will take their uh, leadership in these agencies and they will reform. We'll evaluate all that at the appropriate time and we'll make the appropriate decision. Um, there, there may be a function for that and we'll have to see how it plays out. K Jr. Remember, make America healthy again. M-A-H-A, -A, make America healthy again. Remember, remember, remember that slogan? Well, holds on the Trump plane. Elon Musk, RFK, 
MAGA Mike Johnson, Don Jr., Donald Trump, and here he is, RFK. Um, uh, artif it's just so you know what Zen is. It's like a synthetic nicotine. And if you ever went on the right to quit Zen, it is so hard to get off it. And some of the stories are the saddest and most depressing stories to ever hear as people. But, you know, if you were paying attention to the Trump campaign as we were here on the Midas Touch Network, you would know that one of the healthy, remember Donald Trump had the Nelk Boys, the Canadian right-wing podcasters who got involved in our elections, the kind of right-wing, um, you know, Gen Z crowd. They're, they started off as like pranksters doing like pranks on people. And, um, and now they're big Trumpers. Um, Barron's a big fan of their show um, uh, with a ban from YouTube, but they were certainly demon. I don't, I don't know what the story, but um, you have them going and giving a speech about, um, hey, we, or uh, they, they attacked Governor Walls for putting a tax on Zinn because it's very dangerous stuff. Here, play this clip. We need One more thing I know that's passionate about Governor Tim Walls. He put a 95% to move President Trump. But that's right, make America healthy again. That's right, you're gonna have the MAGAs. What you can do, ban your vaccines, ban fluoride in water, dictate your life. By the way, I agree that they had to wear masks during COVID. You're cool with the government telling you what you can eat, when you can eat, where you can go, what you in the terms of your life, as uh, inflicting hardship on you. As Elon Musk says, he's going to be the billionaire saying he's in. Did you see the other report I did? I talked about it in Legal AF as well. No one wants to talk about this stuff. Um, a federal judge, Judge Jordan, struck down the Biden uh, Department of Labor rule, which would have provided overtime payment to any six to $58,000 a year. You'd automatically be entitled to overtime pay. But a Trump judge said, no, that's too anti making under 58000 But... On the other hand, as Elon Musk is worth $300 billion and all of these billion ports, all of this stuff, because they're going to get great tax cuts. They're going to make tens of billions of dollars more because you can never have 50. We, we need 100 yachts, 200 yachts while we, the people, suffer. So that's the all of the people. And then say they're going to inflict hardship on us. What, like Argentina, where 53% of the people live on ruler that the MAGAs all applaud? What, like Victor Orban, where the entire GDP is, what, $170 billion? What some company, lots of companies make annually here in the United States? Well, I mean, I think you're seeing, we call it a, a, cacot um, a cacistocracy over here in the United States, a government by the idiots or an idiocracy, uh, if you will. But um, in Trump flipping out, he's posting about Scaramucci. Scaramucci's a loser. This person's a loser. Dude, you're the, the heck up. Act like an adult or get the heck out. Ridiculous. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 4 million subscribers. Thank you so much. Stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com slash newsletter. Now it's time for lefties losing it. And let's start lefties with this dose of insanity. I will give this woman credit because she calls herself unhinged and then proceeds to act like she's unhinged. Completely unhinged. I went to the grocery stores. Who voted against my rights and I couldn't guess anymore I was out of guesses in wool's clothing and I just wanted to scream these people are insufferable and it's wolf in uh, if nursery rhyme themes confuse you it might explain why you're a lefty and this next lass thinks she's really I find her a little sad and scary how's this for a motivational phrase already talked about for generations terrifying now continuing the let's check in on this young lass who identifies as a lad and decided to get the testosterone molecule tattoo to resist donald trump life is worth living I do. Well, I'm stating the obvious here, but real men don't need to get testosterone molecules tattooed prominently on their bodies because chromosome. We, we all have testosterone, but us ladies are lacking the 
the why. And no amount of ink is going to... ...lady who thought she was going to be a fixture in the White House. This is the 23-year-old daughter of Tim and Gwen Wall. This country does not deserve Kamala Harris. That woman should go live her best life wherever she wants, doing whatever she wants, because we don't deserve... With that, America doesn't deserve Kamala. It deserves a lot better, and that's why they voted for Donald Trump and they're getting... It's good when we can all agree, isn't it? Now, listen as Hope Walls, uh, like all lefties losing, it shows she's full of hate and loathing about love and tolerance. These people have to live in their own skin, as in J.D. Vance and Donald Trump have to be J.D. Vance. It's not a punishment I would wish upon anybody except those two individuals. Um, yeah, so I'm just really grateful that I am who I am and hope and joy and progress. Oh, gosh. Uh, she's not new to activism. Journalist Andy No reports that Antifa riots in her state in 2020 hope leaked information about the National Guard to inform writers when to... Good news here. Hope Walls has finally taken care of her personal hygiene and had a shower and brushed her teeth. How do I know this? Because... This morning I woke up and decided I needed to take a shower and so I finally did that and I did my skin care and this is very embarrassing but I brushed my teeth for the first time since Tuesday night. Now to the lunatic race baiting net which has seen its primetime audience plummet by around 50%. They've gone from airing diabolical lies to the should get them sued and I really do hope Pete Hexeth calls his lawyers after seeing this. Add uh, um, Peter Hexeth, the, the, the Fox News um commentator as well because weekend this host. is someone who weekend host important distinction um you know it is known to be a white supremacist known to be an extremist uh whose platform whose book is based advancement of black op officers to the top brass absolute lies the ugliest of lies i really do hope he's soon they're trying to scare the american people about trump but they just end up making him look even cooler and it really, this is sort of the conquering <laughs> Republican Caesar who's going into the Coliseum and everyone's cheering and he's got his political gladiators with him. This isn't just about him enjoying the applause. He's sending a message to the Senate. For sure. Like, yeah. not only are you entertained, but these are my people. And are, and are any of us surprised by this? I feel like for anybody who has been covering Trump's campaign or his movement the past few years, these picks, um, to say the least, but... A familiar character. Yes, exactly. They've been with him at all these rallies. They've played a key role in... And right, you know, these picks uh, may have surprised a few people, but they are backed 100% by just about every Trump voter. I mean, these other people he's had around him. And the moment they were talking about there is this. We're about to look at it. Trump entering 309 and hearing the thunderous applause. He walks in with Elon, Tulsi, RFK and... Making his way to the world famous octagon flanked by UFC CEO Dana White, 45 president elect Donald Trump. Now, that whole event was incredible for so many that here and now that I'm going to do a top five UFC 309 moments tomorrow night, as long as I can uh, get around those pesky me, Dana. Uh, let's get into more lefties with my next guest, comedian and host of Primetime with Alex Stein on Blaze TV. The event had everything. Uh, I cannot believe uh, the cultural shift it represents. The past, you can... Feel it, even as far away as here in Australia. This is different to 2016. It's different. See, there, there are people coming out boldly, proudly, who perhaps a few years ago would have been too frightened to do so. They always call Donald Trump the populist candidate, but it's now more evident than ever. I mean, it's just so obvious that he truly is a, you know, might have politically normally been considered liberal. They're all on the Trump train now. You wear your MAGA hat comfortably and proud in any city. And I think you can tell by the response that he got at UFC in Madison Square Garden that it's not just a few areas of the country that love Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump. Now, 
Here's the greatest UFC fighter ever in the eyes of many UFC fans immediately after his big win. <laughs> he did the Trump dance. Ah, dance. Spinning. And here he is in the post-match interview with Joe Rogan. I also thank you to President Donald Trump for being here tonight. American champion. I'm proud to be a Christian American champion. Now, Alex, I know the UFC is America. It is in New York, but the UFC crowd tend to be conservative. But again, you are seeing football ball doing the Trump dance proudly. You've got people seemingly more open to saying proudly, I'm Christian, a religion. Do you feel that change is, is real and significant? Yeah, it is real and significant. A fight and won $25 million. You're definitely excited to see Donald Trump there because maybe you have to pay a little less taxes too. So, you know, God bless Donald Trump and all the Donald Trump YMCA dance because, you know, Donald Trump is a cultural phenomenon. And, and what's the saying? You know, uh, everything kind of runs downstream. Culture and Trump is a cultural phenomenon. Everybody's following his lead. And I would be doing, if I just won $25 million and I saw Donald Trump, I would be dancing instead of giving it all to Kamala <laughs> Harris so she can become more in debt with our money. Well, talking about big paydays proved to be a massive fizzer. Uh, there were all sorts of technical issues with the feed. People were complaining about that. Like the ferocious champion we've seen training in recent months. Uh, let's have a look at him training. <laughs> You were there, you spoke to people who attended the fight and they, almost all of them had doubts about what really happened. Fucking out if they thought the fight was rigged and I think you know their answers. Check them out. Rigged. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. I could have fought him better than that. Do you? Don't brella. I'm telling you how it's The was honestly. Dude, I've seen more interest interesting paint. come from Australia for this So you think it was rigged? You're damn right! Rigged? Rigged. rigged. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry! I'm not uh, I don't know if it was rigged, but I think it was a scrimmage. Yes. I thought, I thought yeah, it was rigged. Tyson. I did not like the fight. The fight was... They really did it for the money. A lot of blue language there. A lot of people are upset, spent a lot of money. A couple of Australians there who were particular. Uh, well, yeah, they were using a lot of colourful language we can't be having on this program. But, Alex, what really happened there? There are so many cons... And like the fans you spoke to, most people think there was something not kosher about this fight. Right, and the first two undercards, a Ramos fight and then the uh, Serrano versus Katie Taylor fight were absolutely incredible, you know, because they left it all out there in the ring. But this fight with Mike Tyson, the first round was okay. Tyson had a little energy, but a whole person in that crowd wanted Tyson to win. It did not matter who they were, their age, everybody wanted Tyson to win. And to see him have the stamina, it was obvious that it was scripted because, you know... <coughs> Jake's not the type of fighter Mike Tyson ever was. It was very obvious. And that's why we all felt like we got duped because people were paying thousands and thousands of dollars to go to this event, expecting a real fight. Mike, but Iron Mike's 58, and this was 100% sports entertainment, WWE, and not traditional boxing. Like One of the theories that I liked was that uh, Jake Paul has always idolized Mike Tyson. It was his hero growing up. Mike Tyson could do with a big payday and uh, that's why he participated in this whole thing. And because people were saying, I don't know how saying he was taking it easy. He could have finished mm -hmm. off Mike uh, much earlier, but he was just making sure he was to knocking him out. I don't know. I don't know boxing that much, but the whole thing looks a bit fishy to me. And uh, I want to talk from the New York Times. The leftist media is just not coping with reality at all at the moment. Look at this attempt, Junior. The New York Times reports that 
Mr. Kennedy has singled out Fruit Loops as an example of a product with too many ingredients. We have Fruit Loops in this country that have 18 or 19 ingredients and you go to Canada and it has two or three, Mr. K Kennedy asked. It was wrong on the ingredient count. They are roughly the same, but the Canadian version does have natural colourings made from product contains red dye 40, yellow 5 and blue 1, as well as a butylated BHT, a lab-made chemical that is used for freshness according to the ingredient label. Um, beg their readers to read the headline and not actually read the detail of the piece because they just proved RFK product sold in Canada that is the same product, way more healthy in Canada compared to what the US consumer. And Rita, it's not just Fruit Loops. There's so many American products that would be outlawed in Europe and your country and a lot of other countries that they just feed us. And, you know, of course, the companies are worried about that, but they can still sell these products in other countries without putting all these ingredients in them and make money. So they could do that here in America because he's going after big pharma. He's going after these industries that are just able Able to operate without any uh you know repercussions of their actions you know he's subsidized by uh advertising from these pharmaceutical countries i mean ph pharmaceutical companies but in other countries they don't have a pharma tv every single thing is a pharmaceutical ad and so that's why people are worried yeah, is that our whole true. entire mainstream media is bought by big pharma and so they they tension but really they're worried about much bigger issues that rfk is potentially going to fix uh, and uh, there was a lot of about that famous picture now that has been posted on President yeah. Trump's plane with uh, McDonald's uh, being served to RFK, who looks very uncomfortable having to uh, consume McDonald's. And But you know what? McDonald's is fine. It's just that and perhaps they could be using, I don't know, beef tallow instead of uh, seed oils like they used to do. Uh, that would be something RFK can talk to them. This clip from Vivek Ramaswamy. He and Elon Musk have been charged with uh, draining the swamp and saving the mess uh, by heading up Trump's Department of Government Efficiency. Let's have a listen to how he is going to do it. Is the people we elect to run the government, they're not the ones who actually run the government. It's the unelected bureaucrats in the administrative state. It's going to be fixed through executive action. Think about the Supreme Court's environment over the last several years. They've held that many of those regulations are un rescind those regulations, pull those regs back, and then that gives us the industrial logic to then downsize the size of that administrative state. It can be achieved just through executive action without Congress. Score some early wins, and then you look at those bigger portions of the federal budget that need to be addressed. Think about this as how can the president of the United States, who's been elected with a historic mandate, actually do the thing that the voters have voted for. They, we have voted for sweeping change, and the voters actually deserve to get it. Sweeping change is what the people voted for. Can uh, Their task is enormous. You know, they do have a big task with the, Do the Department of Government Efficiency, but they can do a lot to NASA. NASA's complaining that they're mad that a lot of their budget went to DEI training, you know, and you look at the uh, Pentagon, they have their latest audit. It's like they have eight. So, you know, there's a lot of places where they can find money. So this Government Efficiency Department is going to be awesome now that they're running it. If they actually slash a lot of spend money unaccounted for and you know, Vivek is right. All these unelected bureaucrats are basically running things. So hopefully Donald Trump's appointees can go in there. Awesome. Alex Stein, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Rita. Always a pleasure.